Hey everyone, uh, today I'll be going over Leak Code 1472 Design Browser History. Uh, this is a medium because it's like, kind of like a design problem. So we're given four methods and we have to fill them out. Uh, browser History is the constructor. A uh, visit, uh, some of the logic behind this, we visit a home page, it puts us that home page into the history, right? Uh, we go back and this would be going back through the history, right? So the last one that's in the history uh, if we move back one step, it would become the current page. Uh, forward in the history, uh, same as back, but we're like kind of like moving forward uh, through the history. Uh, some other logic is, is if we've gone back a lot uh, and we visit a URL, uh, that would actually remove the forward history, so it would make that the new one, and the one that was the last was the one that we were on in our history as we were moving forward. Uh, so it seems kind of confusing, but it'll make sense. Uh, and we're talking about like getting the last and moving things to like kind of like a, a stack style structure. So we'll use stacks, right? So let's actually have a string here and we'll call this uh, the back history. We're gonna use two stacks because we wanna keep track of some things. And we're gonna do another one here and I'm gonna call this a uh, forward history. Uh, so the last thing we wanna do, so what this means is the back history is our, this is our standard history. This is just the normal history. But because we do back and forward, uh, if we kind of like move forward, we want to keep track of like the how many uh, home pages we are back in the forward history as well. So all we're going to do is just add this home page to the back history. Uh, the reason being is because if we go back all the way, we want to have something in the stack that keeps track of our home page. So if we visit a URL, right, uh, we have to clear the forward history. So we'll make this a new stack because whatever is in here shouldn't matter, right? Because we're visiting a new one. It kind of like wipes out where we were in our stack. And then the last thing we want to do is simply add to our standard back history the URL. So we're visiting it, right? So it makes it the back history. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we're moving back, right? Uh, so since we're moving back, we have to keep track of some forward history as well. So we're gonna go uh, while steps is greater than zero because we're gonna just decrement it. And then we also wanna check uh, while back history has some uh, sites to visit, right? And it has to be greater than one. The reason why greater than one and not empty is because we're keeping the home page in there. So you could actually have this as another variable, but we're doing it this way. So greater than one, because we don't wanna uh, do an empty stack exception or anything. And then what we want to do is we want to add the current one to keep track of our history because we're just going back and we might want to go forward, right? So we'll do forward history and then we'll just do back history dot pop. So we're still storing it somewhere, but in the forward history. And next, you, know, you want to decrement steps and all we'll return is where are we at this point, right? So, and I think I missed like a parenthesis somewhere. But anyways, uh, what we want to do is we just want to keep track of uh, basically where we are. So we'll return uh, the back history dot peak, not pop. Uh, just whatever's at the back history, that's where we currently are. Uh, the next thing we want to do is let's actually copy the swallow loop because we'll do something similar with this. And basically we want to, and I don't know why this is all messed up, but let's just go like this. Okay, yeah, so basically we'll do the same thing. So while steps is greater than zero, um, let's actually, and this would be forward history because we're moving forward, right? So while this is uh, greater than, uh, at this point we can actually go zero because the home page won't matter. So while there's something in the forward history, uh, let's add this back into our back history because we're moving forward now. So same thing, uh, forward history, pop and steps minus zero. And let's actually uh, do the same thing as returning the whatever's at the back history. So we're moving forward, we're replacing it, we visit, we clear the forward history. Uh, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Looks like it's pretty good. Let's submit it. And yeah, it looks like this works. Uh, it works, it's a little slow it looks like, but it does work. Let's talk about time and space here. So for the constructor here, uh, it's just going to be, so overall we're going to use O n space, just how many operations we had. Um, space for everything is O n because we're having two stacks that keep track of it, right? 
uh, for this this one it's constant because we're just adding the home page uh, for visiting it's also constant uh, because we're just adding for the visit uh, this steps is o of n where n is steps because we actually have to go through each step right um, and uh, this one should also be the same o of n time as well so these are all time here same exact thing and yeah i hope this made sense thank you for watching